Hi everybody and welcome to this last tutorial of 2018. And I'm going to draw on Stratmore marker paper. And I'm going to draw a funny, funny dog indeed. So that's a nice last timer. But first I want to explain to you why I am drawing with the Arteza color pencils. Now and this is the reason why and you can see it here. Uh, these are my most favorite brands for pencils and papers and all kinds of stuff. But uh, I've compared the prices and as you can see the Arteza pencils are uh, almost the cheapest but they are so amazing to work with that uh, I have chosen to continue studying my art with this brand, the Arteza, because uh, in comparison they are very cheap for what you get. So that's why. So a very affordable brand of color pencils indeed and what I also love is, and you can see it on the top right here, I'm going to put in uh, the numbers um, of the pencils that I'm going to use for this drawing. And in this case, uh, the setup is done with the color A111, 111. And what is uh, so very nice uh, for me is that these numbers are on the pencils, but also a description of the color. Now A111 is the color Coyote and the color Coyote uh, is uh, a kind of a brownish green and that was just perfect, the perfect color for drawing this funny dog and the one on the left I did uh, on my work I have a daytime job working at uh, the office but um, on my lunch break I always try to draw a little bit and I was on Google and I saw uh, uh, the most uh, kind of tennis balls uh, kept by a dog or something and there were images there and I had to laugh so hard that I thought oh that would just be amazing to draw so that's what I'm doing here and uh, well there were all kinds of dogs there and uh, some had three balls some two some five I thought even maybe but I tried to draw uh, Christmas cards for my very close ones so uh, the dog on the left has uh, four tennis balls in his uh, in its mouth with say 2019 and what I'm drawing with the color coyote now is the underlayment of this dog and I've made the neck a little bit stretchy so he gets that a uh, little bit of dumb look and here I'm correcting the left eye a little bit and as you can see on the Stratmore marker paper you can correct it quite um, good. Of course color pencils are always a little bit harder to erase than your graphite pencils. But if you want to start and draw in color which is just amazing of course because you can express yourself even more when using color colors uh, bring out the best in people and uh, that is why I want to pick up on the colors and drawing with colors and I already did that with the with the pastel pencils of course and I love those two uh, but I Actually, I never used much color pencils. I have a box of Koinor 24, but this box of Arteza contained 72 colors, so it is just amazing and for such a low price. 
and uh, they asked me to try it out and I am totally hooked on these color pencils because the range of colors is amazing uh, the pigments are amazing the way they sh let themselves sharpen with my sharp knife is amazing and um, I'm still testing them out so I did my first test on the black hand song paper this is my second test on the white marker paper by Stratmore, which is a very hard and very smooth paper. And the black and sun is ideal for checking the pigments in the light colored pencils, while uh, the white drawing paper is of course perfect for the darker color pencils. So I'm just testing out the pigments and see what I can do with them. But I really, really love the way that uh, also that they um, gave numbers to the pencils. And on the box you can also see back all the numbers and the colors, the, the, the names they gave the colors. So that is ideal for students like maybe you. But certainly for a student like me that has not much worked with color pencils before. Now as you can see I uh, did the complete setup with that number A111, the coyote. And I've tried to draw as much as possible in the direction of uh, the way that the hair is growing. But what I did mostly is search for light and dark. So I've spared out the lighter parts and I've drawn in the darker parts by pressing a little bit harder or softer on the paper and on the pencil. And in that way, with just one color, you already get a great range of um, different kinds of uh, shades. Now these are the lines of the tennis balls that are in the mouth of the dog. And I will not put any text or numbers in them. I will leave that up to you. But the left one is going off. It's going to be... Uh, send off in a in an envelope of course uh, the right one here is f purely for the demonstration and now that I've made my setup it's time for the second color and this is the A 120 now A 120 is a very very dark um, kind of bluish dark gray color and the name that they gave this is the name charcoal and I think that's a good name for this color because charcoal is never never black the darkest charcoal is the compressed charcoal of course and uh, in this case uh, and you will see this as the drawing continues I will not be using the black itself black of course is always the last color in your color box but um, the darkest I will go is with this charcoal color the A120 now as you can see here this color charcoal combined with the color coyote uh, already and immediately gives me the feel of the kind of color that these kinds of dogs have. So um, I was testing it out a little bit on a little piece of paper. I'm combining some colors and then this color came out and I thought oh wow this is just an amazing color for this dog drawing. Now the dog on the left is completely in blue and I've put in some marker uh, brushes in it 
and uh, it it was done at work. I only had a blue uh, pencil there, and uh, so it's just a quick sh setup. But I wanted to draw for this demonstration a little bit more realistic colors. And here at home, of course, I have that range of seventy-two colors. So, um, well. But still, uh, I'm just in my second layer here. So it's only just the 111 and the 120 that I'm combining here. And this is what I mean with excellent pigments. Because uh, combining only two colors and then already getting this much of a result is just amazing. And what I also want to share is that uh, the the tennis balls that are that are in the beak of this dog uh, makes the skin on the upper lip, of course, stretch out. So what I did is I'm putting just very little color into those stretched lips uh, the lips just next to the nose of course so in that way um, by leaving out color there the effect of that stretch that the tennis ball gives uh, get an extra dimension now for the tennis balls themselves I will be using two kinds of yellow that's all and um, what you also can do is press a little bit softer and harder to get some tones going on so this is the yellow sapphire the uh, A028 and I'm combining this with the A075 and that is the ivory color and these together already give me that feel of tennis ball so that's just great but what I also wanted to do is get a little bit of shine so I have picked up the A088 and this is the color amethyst and as you may all know, Amethyst, of course, is a beautiful uh, purple-ish, blue-ish color. And combined with that first color, the, the A111, the color Coyote, this brings out some kind of a shine that uh, the fur, the, 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 the hairs of this dog, uh, bring so it gives a little bit of shine and these kinds of dog have very very short hair and you can hardly see any whiskers and, and, and things and what I also did is I use uh, this color amethyst over the yellow of the tennis balls and as you know purple and yellow are complementary colors so Purple is an excellent shadow color in this case. Building up all kinds of layers uh, will bring uh, you a, a very, a very bright drawing. And I simply leave out the black and just put in all these colors over each other. Well, there are not that many. I've only used five kinds of colors for this result. Then finally, and that's only for the eyes, I am using the A064, which is yellow ochre. And that will bring in that shine in the eyes. So that's all for 2018. We've had a great year and I hope to see you again, of course, 
in the next year, 2019. I wish you a very, very、uh, happy new year, and I will see you again, of course, next week in 2019. Thank you for watching, and all the love, Lineke. <laughs>